YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the Mega Bloks Power Rangers 20 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Collectors Pack. So this includes all six of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in the new Mega Bloks style. So, uh, how are they? That's a good question. It does show they include the display stand and all the other Mega Bloks line that you can complete. Power coins you can cut out, I guess, if you want to, but uh, pretty simple packaging. Let's go ahead and get it open and take a look. Alright, and so here we have the Mighty Morphin Collector's Pack, whatever you want to call it, out of the pack. And onto their little display base. Uh, so the display base itself is actually kind of neat. Uh, you can easily fit six figures on here. Uh, seven if you kind of squeeze them a little bit, but um, it holds six very comfortably. They're pretty much in there. They're not going to fall out or anything like that. Well, it's got the logo etched, not etched in, but printed on. Uh, right here so very cool overall and I like the way that it looks and I really hope we get some other team packs I highly doubt it just by how limited the Mega Bloks line is if this was one of Bandai's lines and maybe we could get some more teams but uh, it just has a collector's item from the Mega Bloks uh, group I don't think we're gonna see any more hoping we do but not expecting it. Uh, so these are done in the Mega Force styling that uh, they're using for all the minifigures now, which is fine by me because I like it a little bit better, since the other ones are just kind of blindly Lego, and these ones have a little bit of originality to them. So let's uh, be different and start with uh, Pink, because she's here. She wants to take your money. Uh, so <laughs> here is Pink. Uh, each of the rangers come with a blade blaster weapon in the uh, dagger mode. At least that's what it's supposed to look like. Not too bad. Obviously could have been sculpted a lot better, but still not uh, too bad. So these in general aren't too bad. Um, all the helmets are printed on and look fairly decent. Um, each of them have this samurai style of head where they kind of have the training garb on. Uh, Kimberly is now Asian, so that's always good to know. Uh, but the, the helmets are really loose on these for some reason. Uh, some of them more so than others. That's not terrible. I don't have really any problems of like holding them upside down and them just flat out falling out. But if you try to move them, they pop out pretty easy. Um, of course, they all have a rotation right here. At the waist, and then the little ball joints down at the feet, and a swivel at the hands. So they got quite a bit of articulation, you just have to watch the helmets. Uh, they're a lot like the Marvel Mega Bloks line. Uh, that didn't really go too far, since LEGO got the license eventually. But uh, So there is Kimberly, there goes Billy's helmet. And you can clearly see that's not Billy, but um, that's just the male one that they use. So you pop that back on and have a look at Billy. Not going to bother going over all of the articulation or anything like that. In fact, I'm not going to even bother putting them back on the display base. So here is Zack or Adam, I guess, depending on how you want to look at it. Looks more like Adam, but again, they just use the same heads. So, uh, One thing to point out is that some of this is just, this is just paint, so it scrapes pretty easy. Uh, I had to dig through about six of them to find one that was actually pretty decent. Um, and didn't have that many chips out of it. So buyer beware with these. You might run into some paint chip issues. Here's Trini and or Aisha. Um, look, definitely, definitely looks like Trini. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of one of the paint chips I was talking about. It's very light on there, um, but the one I picked up originally had like this big scrape through it and looked really ugly. Uh, so buyer beware. Just kind of keep an eye on things. And here's Jason, uh, again, same exact mold, same exact male face. Uh, so the females all have the same face, the males all have the same face. It's very thrilling, but pretty neat. And so here's Tommy, and here's where a lot of my problems with the set lie. Uh, the dragon shield is printed on instead of being a separate piece, so it looks really strange. Uh, wouldn't have been my first choice. He doesn't have a dragon dagger. He has a blade blaster that is colored as if it was trying really hard to be a dragon dagger. I appreciate the effort, but they probably should have just gave us a dragon dagger. Uh, but everything else is painted on. 
Uh, the the boots down here are honestly kind of awful in terms of paint, if you can see that. Uh, but the the gold rims on the uh, bicep area are print uh, printed on, painted on, whatever. And his head does not have the silver stripe on it, so no one can complain about that. But again, I just really wish that we would have had the um, a, pl a plastic dragon's shield, because it's not like they don't do that. Um, they're doing it for the ultra modes for Mega Force. They did it for the Super Samurai by including the uh, the cape piece. So really, it's not like they couldn't have done it. I understand cost-saving measures, obviously, by making them all the same exact thing. It was very easy to make. By giving them all blade blasters, it was very easy to make. So I understand cost-saving measures, but it's still, for a collector's anniversary set, is something that I figured we would have seen. Finally, the display base, like I said, is very nice and can hold roughly uh, seven figures or so if you jam them in, but it holds six very, very comfortably. Very easy to build, too, and just kind of looks really nice. And now we're back to square one. Uh, like I said, I, as a fan of the Mega Blocks, I do appreciate this, but it, all it really does is make me want more sets that I actually really like. Um, not a huge fan of Mighty Morphin, and at this point, I've seen the suit so much through all this promotional material that I really want to see something else. But, um, if you're an MMPR fan, Ranger fan, whatever, uh, this is a great little pickup if you don't mind the style of the Mega Blocks. Um, if you hate the Mega Blocks, then obviously you want to want to chuck this into the wall, but, uh, why would you be buying this anyway if you didn't like Mega Blocks? Don't know. Um, but like I said, I really do hope that we get some more sets, not expecting any... But really, really hoping. They do go along great with uh, with the Megaforce group. Really wish we could buy these little bases uh, for the Megaforce group. And kind of put them next to each other. Like 20 years of justice and such like. But um, yeah, no such luck. Uh, it's only $14.99. So it's not all too bad. Uh, the blind packs are like about 3 bucks each. So you're looking at about $18 if you buy these uh, without the base. So... Pretty much a good deal all around. Uh, and being a Toys R Us exclusive item, you're not going to find these anywhere else. Not that you can really buy the Mega Blocks anywhere else except Toys R Us. But they're at Kmart, I guess. But anyway, uh, very cool overall. Uh, I just kind of wish the whole shield thing happens. I could put it on other figures, but no such luck, but still really nice. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care, and have a great one. Bye.